and little combo. You don't want it to be given like, y'all gonna be like, you late to the party. The party don't start till I get there and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna make a statement. And he remember because money was spent. Don't whip out the new perfume. You need to put on the same one that that man smelled on you last time. Ooh, that's it. Mm. That's the time living. Money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fifty. That's all I'm here. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny, and in this video, I will be sharing with you all some of my most complimented perfumes, the fragrances that I'm currently wearing, why I like to wear them, how you should pair them, how to make them last longer, where I like to apply them. This video is not sponsored, except maybe it's sponsored by the people who might have gifted me some of these. The links will be affiliated links, which means if you click on them, I'm gonna get paid. <laughs> so if you don't want me to get paid, then write the perfumes down and kind of do like internet searches on your own time, okay. Order, these are not ranked. I'm just turning around and grabbing one. This is Miss Dior. She's an old day perfume. I'm not an expert, by the way. I'm just from a consumer's point of view. And the size that I have is the 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. There's this thing that I like to do, right? On my birthday or like leading up to my birthday, I like to purchase a, what I consider birthday perfume. For this age, this might be my signature scent. <laughs> this was a 31st birthday gift to myself back in July. I got this one for myself on my birthday trip in Dallas and absolutely love it. I like to pair this with the matching Miss Dior moisturizing body milk. So the size on this one is actually the 6.8 fluid ounce, 200 milliliters so i still have with me purchasing it in july if you want to count back i got like half the bottle of this left um, i spray this one a lot 1.7 fluid ounces i like to get that size especially when you started building a collection i feel like you won't run out quickly because you're breaching for different ones at different times when we we're on instagram live i did ask you all to let me know a few things that you may have wanted to know while i'm doing my fragrance video or my perfumes video and one of the things you all wanted to know was how to pick your perfume so like i said this video is not sponsored but i'm currently on sephora's website they have it categorized down to fragrance family fragrance type i'm like what kind of perfume girl am i and i thought that i was like a sweet scent type of girl but i was scrolling the florals section and a lot of perfumes that i own fall underneath the florals categories. Miss Dior is a floral perfume. She's definitely a floral. For 31, this was giving, I know what I want, I know what I like. It's probably gonna sit there and be oily the whole time, wait. If you're like, I want 2023 to be my soft girl error, you need Miss Dior. She's floral, she's soft. I don't wanna say soft in the sense of meaning like, okay, I can't smell it. It's soft like, Feminine. If you're reaching for a glass, this is on the top shelf. It's not, this is not red paper cup that everybody got access to. It's giving that girl. While I was on Instagram Live, I did scribble down a few notes. I quickly asked the girls, like, what y'all want to know in the fragrance video? The most complimented, so those are the ones I grabbed off the shelf. Uh, wearability, what to layer it with, and location, and then how to apply it. Me, myself. I personally like to pair my perfumes, if it's available, with a matching body cream, matching body lotion, body milk. So Miss Dior does have the moisturizing body milk. It complements it. I don't wanna put all of these on today. We're gonna do it on the thigh. <laughs> Spread them out. Y'all see it ain't ran out yet. I'm not using this the way that I would use my regular body lotion. These are perfumed body lotions, or this one specifically is a moisturizing body milk. It does have a soft glow to it. It complements very well with the Miss Dior. They smell similar to me, very floral very soft. The key notes is Lily of the Valley. The scent type is warm floral. It is in the floral family as well. It's a soft musk. Miss Dior to me, she's definitely a getting ready for church. On Sunday, I would wear her date night. You're trying to make a statement and you're trying to be memorable. Sweet, but floral at the same time. I care about my entire presentation of how I look, how I sit, how I smell. Ms. Dior is a favorite. I don't keep my boxes anymore because yeah, I'm not trying to be a hoarder. If you do care about the presentation of the bottle, it is a glass bottle. It has this cute little soft colored ribbon bow along the front. And then you do get the Christian Dior label along the top portion. I think this is kind of like plastic because I can kind of squeeze it. Something else that is important to me outside of where you're going is what you're wearing. So depending on what you put on, it's, you stare at your perfume collection and it's like, which perfume would I wear with this? Pop a picture up. Yeah, she smell like Miss Dior. So moving right along to my next perfume. This is the Lancome Adol. Try to get the stand that comes with this if you can because I currently have to sit it flat on my new perfume uh, display. This is for my girls who kind of like a floral but 
fresh type of scent, fresh out of the shower, but better, I would say definitely go for the Lancome Adol. If you're not someone who likes like an overly sweet perfume, I think that you would like the Lancome Adol. The Lancome Adol was Allure's Best of Beauty award winner back in 2020. So if it's at her winning awards, you need her. <laughs> Take like a fragrance quiz online to see or kind of grab a few that you already have in your collection. And different websites do categorize the perfumes. That can help you to decide, especially if it's a blind buy, something that you're adding to your car online without even smelling it first, you'll know where you stand. So the adult perfume is by Lancome. This one is the adult La Power Cream. So it's a scented body cream. This one is 6.8 fluid ounces. I think I still got a good amount in here. I can't remember when I got the Lancome doll. It's definitely giving brunch. It's giving Sunday if you want to stun on the first lady. Let me tell y'all something about date night. Let me tell y'all what date night is given. You do not want to switch your perfume up every time you go out on a date with the same person. You want to be remembered, right? It's like nostalgia. So if a person hasn't seen you and it's like, oh, I miss you, babe, da da da, and then y'all have a date night plan for Friday night, don't whip out the new perfume. You need to put on the same one that that man smelled on you last time, sis. <laughs> so it can be given like when y'all lean in and y'all hug. Like, mm. And he remember like, ooh, that's it. All of that is gonna go together and that person missing you, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm putting you on, sis. I know you got a whole collection, but mark it. Even if you're not marking it with this, with whatever you're wearing, I ain't saying have a whole list for like, okay, I wear this with this person, this around that, I'm not saying that. But that is where a signature scent comes in. Speaking of signature scents, for me, I know y'all like, really, you gonna whip her out again? Yes, I am, because I'm currently still wearing it. This is Pink Sugar. I need to see where Pink Sugar falls. It's hard to find the Pink Sugar perfume, too, so hopefully I can find it and link it. Don't hate me if I can't. Okay, so I'm seeing the Pink Sugar perfume on Walgreens' website for $15.99. Now, Pink Sugar was originally created for, like, the young girls that want to, maybe, like, teens, if it's like, Mama, can I start wearing perfume now? But I love a good, sweet scent. You do have to keep in mind that a lot of these fragrances are going to pair with your own body chemistry. That's what makes it original, even if it's like everybody's wearing that, but their body chemistry is not giving what my body chemistry giving, so it's a bit different on me, okay? I've been told like, oh my God, like you smell like candy, like sweet like candy. <laughs> they do have like body lotion, they have a body scrub, they got a hair perfume. We love a good hair perfume. Y'all talk about layering scents, don't overdo it. But whatever that specific perfume has to offer, if it's giving body lotion, if it's giving soap, they got a fragrance mist, a hair mist, whatever, combine all of that. So that way, head to toe, you on point, right? Because you know, somebody might want to smell your hair. Especially if you curled your hair and you head straight out the door. I'd rather put a hair perfume in than to have my hair smell like flat irons. So this is the Matcha Pink Sugar Hair Perfume. This one is the 3.38 fluid ounces. I actually have the tag on this. I got it at Marshalls for $9.99. This smells amazing and it does match well with the Pink Sugar. Y'all can see that I wear this one a lot. I'm gonna make a statement and if I want to leave a certain vibe for a person to remember me, I'm gonna whip out something sweet. I think it depends on who you're around, obviously. So this one is a toilet. Toilets is when it really comes in handy to layer your scents. Take it a step further. This, this is from the beauty supply store. Not the bougie ones, like the beauty supply store, beauty supply stores. That's where you're gonna find this. You could probably find this at the mall, at one of the counters, like, you know, where they sell like the roll-ons. Oh baby, this stronger than this. I'll throw this in my purse, regardless of what I'm wearing, and I feel like it's gonna pair right with it. It has tart bergamot, sweet Sicilian orange, gives way to a heart featuring licorice blossom and red berries. If you wanna smell like candy, soft, if you wanna smell feminine, if you gotta know what to whip out when. And this for me will forever be a signature scent. A lot of times I'm gonna still gravitate towards my pink sugar because it gives to me what I want it to give. Let's jump into one of my newest ones. So this is Baccarat. I smell like money in Baccarat. Bendy's face boosts like an astronaut. <laughs> so notice I'm pulling out the matching body creams, lotions, milk. That's one way to make sure that it lasts even longer. Baccarat costs a pretty penny, I'm not gonna lie. I dropped hints about the fact that I wanted this and I ended up getting it for Christmas. Shout out to my sister Dominique, she got me both of these for Christmas because yeah, she's that girl. I needed this! I just didn't wanna pay for it. Now, this one is an extract. I know I'm saying it wrong, don't get distracted. Stay focused, I'm trying to put you on. 
This is the Mason Francis Baccarat Rouge 540. No pun intended, but she smells expensive. She smells delicious. She smells amazing. I threw the boxes out because I don't collect boxes anymore. The 2.4 fluid ounce of Baccarat Rouge on the Name and Marcus website retails for 435. Pretty penny. She's worth it. Screenshot it on your story or something and be like, I need this. Drop hints if your birthday coming up. Every holiday, I'm always mentioning perfumes. It's like, yeah, you can never have too many. It has the strength and radius of the fragrances, amber, woody, floral, or floral, aura. I knew it. It's a floral scent. I'm a floral girl, apparently. The fact that y'all on Instagram was like, we want to know the notes. We want to know what family it's in. Da da da. I would not have known. I always been like, when people ask me like, what kind of scent I like, I just say I like to smell sweet. Floral destiny. You're a floral family girl. <laughs> Exalted version of a signature scent is jasmine blossoms. A lot of my perfumes have jasmine, I noticed. And a woody musk. Men and women can wear this. You can wear whatever you like, honestly. We don't discriminate. Mm. Baccarat Rouge stands out on its own. Like, I know this now. When I smell it, let me give y'all an example. Most complimented, right? It's a windy night. It's like a few people behind us. This one man, when he kind of catches up closer to us, he like, I don't know what y'all wearing, but y'all smell good. I think my friend had on Good Girl. I don't have Good Girl yet. I got a Good good Girl. And then I was wearing this. So if you want to pair the two together, because I would like to assume if we're walking and the wind is blowing, it means it's mixing those two scents in the air to hit this man's nose. So if you got both pair of them, this doesn't need to be paired, but I smell this. When I'm like getting settled at night and I'm hanging my coat back up in the closet, I'm gonna smell this. And it's given, I didn't even spray it on my coat. Like what? It's a lasting scent. It's definitely worth it. I love the packaging. So the top notes is giving jasmine. Saffron is in this as well. The heart notes is bitter almond and cedar wood. Base notes in Baccarat Rouge is musky, woody accord, ambergris. I know I'm saying it wrong, don't come for me. Date night, I'm wearing this. We be saying date night like we really be. <laughs> if you would like to wear this for a date night scent, it's definitely perfect for that. Then night out with the girls. This is a very versatile scent. Now I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know this existed. I knew I wanted this. Knew nothing about this. But I got this for Christmas as well from my sister Dominique. This is the Mason Francis uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the scented body cream. I love the packaging on this one as well. It's white. This isn't like glass or anything. It's plastic kinda. Um, but you twist the top, it has like this gold top and you just twist it and that's how it comes out. The 8.5 fluid ounces or basically 250 milliliters. The open time on this for the packaging is 12 months. So you got a year to use this. I don't really go by this. If I still got it, I'ma still spray it. Because money was spent. They got a candle. According to the Name and Marcus website, it's $85. There's notes of jasmine and the radiance of saffron, which carries mineral facets of woody and freshly cut cedar wood. So if I'm going to like a banquet, if I'm going to dinner, if I'm all the way dressed up and I'm putting on the best that I got to offer, I'm reaching for this. Both of these. I think about where I'm going, what I'm wearing, and who I'ma be with when I put on a perfume. <laughs> if you're going to a museum, if you're going to a play, if you're going to a movie premiere. So she's a pretty penny, like I said. Perfume is an investment though. I feel like how you smell matters. Y'all gonna be like, you late to the party. The party don't start till I get there. It can start now, cause I got Baccarat Rouge, baby, what's good? <laughs> okay, add that to your wish list. So next up on the list is YSL Libre. This one is the 3.4 fluid ounce. I believe this one is a perfume. So this one is given, Got a smeller. Mm. I smell a little bit of orange in this. I want to say it's a floral scent. Maybe a little bit of jasmine, maybe a little bit of rose. It's definitely giving me floral. It's giving bougie, it's giving classy. So I got the YSL Libre for a birthday gift. Shout out to my dad. I do love YSL's products, good quality products. I love the packaging, like the YSL on the bottle. I feel like YSL pays special attention to detail. Saint Laurent just doesn't miss when it comes to a lot of things, and this perfume is one of them. According to Sephora's website, this retails for $155 for the 3.4 fluid ounce. Oh, I'm right, oh my God. <laughs> so this falls into the floral family. The scent type is a warm floral. Key notes is lavender, orange blossom, knew I smelled orange, and musk accord. I'm noticing that a lot of the perfumes I have have a lot of similar notes to them, but they all kind of stand on their own. All of them are different. Like nothing that I have smells like anything else. If you think so, let me know. I've worn this maybe five or six times since having it. I finally opened it. And I knew that I was going to level up the way in which I organized my perfumes and displayed them. 
So any perfume that I got that wasn't already opened, it had just been sitting pretty. What I recommend if you don't want to purchase travel size, I'ma link it down below for you all. It's a travel sprayer. So you would take the top off of your perfume. Not all perfumes do it. Like the YSL, I'm just noticing just now, you can't take the top off of this one. But on some of these, the top part will pop off and then you will press that travel size down into it. It'll spray your perfume into the travel size carrier. But a lot of times I think we just can't smell it on ourselves anymore. Like other people can still smell it. Like if I've been out four or five, maybe six hours and it's like, mm, I forgot my little travel, like my touch up perfume. And I'll randomly get a compliment like, oh, you smell nice. And it's like, okay. <laughs> but I also think the importance of that is where you apply your perfumes. I like to hit behind the neck, kind of near the ears mostly near the ears. It's not always given like all over the neck, more so than like directly behind the ear. You wanna kind of perfectly position and place them. Cause I don't know what you might be getting into, sis. You don't want it to be given like. I also like to hit the wrist. I don't rub, I heard that that breaks up the perfume. Then you dab. That also helps you to transfer it to both, but I'm not breaking it, breaking up the uh, notes within the perfume. I'm also gonna hit right here. So when you're leaning in to hug a person, it's on the wrist, I'm sending it to you. I'm throwing it at you, baby, I'm giving it to you, okay? And it's right here where I need, need it to be. Covering head to toe, that's how you make sure you're on point. So now when I lean in to hug you, I'm close enough to, yeah, to the nose because I covered right here. Right here in the creases, I feel like if you cover the creases because our perfumes match with our body chemistry, it's going to warm it. So the parts of the body that move with the crease, definitely do that. So it's given right here. And then I'll do like this to bend, stop it from running. Same thing on this side. And it's one spray. I'm not doing like five sprays in all of these areas. I like to hit the back of the legs as well because every time you walk, it's releasing your perfume again. And the ankles, you can choose inside or outside. It doesn't matter. Those are my perfume spots. I did not realize. I'm talking so much I ran out of space. Oh my God, that means this video is longer than I thought. I thought it was given 30 minutes and I'm out of here. So this one is the YSL Libre Nourishing Body Balm. I say Laurent, so the body balm, it's kind of, it's moisturizing. These give you a little bit of a glow, but if you want to top your glow, I definitely go in with the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is the shimmering body oil. I think this retails for $100. And I'm actually wearing it right now. I do an overlay to show you all. I love like a good glow. I don't care what I'm wearing. If a part of my skin is exposed and it need a little pop of shimmer, baby, clearly, <laughs> cause I'm running out of it, I'm gonna I'm top it with this. Oh baby, especially if you got like a long slit in a dress and you take Instagram birthday pictures. What? My girl, um, Coco Jones, glow, baby. When she had a leg out, oh baby. <laughs> Yes, so this did come in a set. It came in like a gift box. If you all saw my previous video of me kind of setting up my new perfume display, we unboxed both of these together. I did get it for my birthday in July. So this is a new wear for me within the past couple of days I've been wearing this, but when I am wearing it, compliments galore. A lot of you all have this one as well. Like y'all was in the comments like, why YSL Libre? It's that girl on TikTok. My perfume video did numbers on TikTok, shout out to y'all. But a lot of y'all were saying like, y'all don't feel like it lasts long. I personally feel like it does. I think we just kind of sometimes don't smell our fragrance on ourselves. I want you, na na. I love this one. I think I got this in the winter. Mm. I've had this a while. So this is the Jimmy Choo I Want You Perfume. The 3.3 Fluid Ounce one. I love the bottle. I love when it's like a clear, sexy kind of shape with the bottle and it has like the cute gold detailing on it. This to me kind of gives spicy. It gives warm, it gives sweet. I need like coffee now, the coffee beans, hold on. And the 3.4 Fluid Ounce, the bottom of this says 3.3, but the website say 3.4, yeah. It retails for $132. This, oh my God, y'all gonna hate me. So the fragrance family for this one is floral as well. It is a warm floral. I'm mixing them now, so I can't even give keynotes. This one is Mandarin Juice, Jasmine, and Vanilla. At this point, it's safe to say, I'm a floral girl. I like jasmine. I also like to pair this with the I want you. I'm recording. You want to be a box out of mailbox? No, what box? Soaking with. When I pull it up, just They must have threw that thing. When I was riding my bike, they wasn't outside like that. Okay, my bad. Apparently, Amazon throwing packages where they don't belong. And it's raining outside. And I didn't know the package was out there. Anyway, listen. So, this is the I want you. Jimmy Choo Perfume Body Lotion. The size I have is the 3.3. So, both of these are the same. 
fluid answers. Okay, wait, so I was just kind of glancing at the suggested usage section. It says after applying to avoid rubbing or dabbing the skin, this breaks down the fragrance, it causing it to wear off more quickly. So for everybody that was speaking about wearability on Instagram, maybe it's not lasting because even if you're not rubbing, you're dabbing it too. So now I'm just gonna be a girl that spray it on. We ain't gonna dab it or nothing. However it run, that's what I'm gonna let it do. Okay, I learned that today. The way I like to use these, I kind of mix it with a, get you like a regular unscented uh, body lotion. To stretch them, kind of mix the two together, then put it on the leg. So you'll have a little bit of the perfume mixed into like your combo that you, you know how we make combos when we're doing our hair? Make you a little concoction, little combo, Jimmy Choo. This is more warm to me. I'm definitely selective with when I choose to wear this one because it's so, <sighs> this is a dressy perfume to me, if it makes sense. So if I'm dressed casual, I'm not gonna put this on. Like I'm dressed up if I'm wearing this. The top does come off on this one if you all wanna kind of sample size it and put it in that little travel bottle that I was talking about on Amazon. So this is the Tiffany for her. I got this a couple of years ago. I love Tiffany's products. I kind of gravitate towards the Tiffany for her more than I do the rose gold one. Just because the fragrance on this is a little bit different, I think it's safe to say that I believe this one is floral as well. I'm gonna put it on the screen just to kind of speed things along so I don't lose y'all. This was my 29th, was this my 29th or my 30th? I think this was my 30th purchase to myself. It was definitely given Tiffany for her. This is soft, classy girl. <laughs> According to the Tiffany website, $149. This is the three ounce bottle. I love the signature Tiffany blue on this one. The and for like Tiffany and Co company. So they don't have a matching Tiffany for her body lotion, but Tiffany does have their own signature body lotion, which is what I kind of pair it with whenever I'm wearing this one. But the rose gold one, which I'm not including in this video today, uh, but the rose gold by Tiffany does have the actual rose gold matching uh, body lotions. This is the 6.7 fluid ounce body lotion. It's got the cute Tiffany blue on the inside. Yeah, it says Tiffany right there. I love these two paired together. This one is kind of like a clean scent to me, but I think it does fall under the floral category. It's kind of like a woody type of musk. It has jasmine in it. Uh, I think the Tiffany products mostly, they're known for like the blue sequoia. The top note is blue basil, black currant, and grapefruit. Not it's upside down. <laughs> Middle notes is neroli, jasmine, tuberose flower. The base is the blue sequoia and the vetiver and the cedar wood. Cause they have a matching for him, which smells really good too. Definitely recommend that as a like gift purchase if y'all wanna grab a gift. The experience is everything. So if you do get it in person, if they're like, is this a gift, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I will get things wrapped, even if it's just for myself. I purchased this at Tiffany in Nashville. It's like complimentary to have it like properly wrapped and all of that, um, especially like more on the higher end. I think even when you order it online, it will always come in the Tiffany blue box. They come in the huh? They come. Are your package here? I know Chanel does that as well. The experience with opening it and just enjoying it, cause not only that, as a girl, we just like those kinds of things. Wearability, I feel like this does last a long time. It is a, whoa. Okay, Amber Alert. It's signature of its own. I feel like Tiffany doesn't really smell like too many other things in my opinion. So I have the My Burberry Blush. This was a 2021 Christmas gift from my sister Dominique. This is the My Burberry Blush. Y'all, let's hope I can find something that's not floral. That's of the My Burberry Blush does re What's that? That's my candles and stuff. So the three ounce size of the My Bear Berry Blush does retail for $155 according to Sephora's website, but they are currently sold out of this size. And let's scroll down. Oh my God, it's a floral. <laughs> if you want to blind, but this Dominique Lachey. She bought me this. Dominique, you know all of my fragrances is florals. If you're wondering, like, I wonder what this one smell like. Girl, something floral, apparently, with a little jasmine in it. <laughs> it does fall under the scent type of a fruity floral. So the key notes in this one is pomegranate, rose, and jasmine. Typical destiny. But I gravitate towards what I gravitate towards. This one smells like something I've smelled tonight already. But I wear this one a lot. I feel like this one, to me, out of a lot that I've shown you all, is a more versatile scent. It's soft enough to kind of fit in a lot of different places. Some perfumes are not appropriate for certain occasions. If it's a business meeting, don't put on the boldest perfume you own. I think that's personally too harsh for a business meeting. Me, myself, I'm gonna wear something that's a little more like I mean business, 
but it ain't gotta be spicy and bold. If you think of this as a person, I would think of this as a versatile person that can mix well over here. They also know how to fit in at this type of event, but they also a little bit wretched. This maybe defines me. Everybody I feel like could wear the My Berry Berry blush. Like it's, it's giving Girls Day, it's giving Library, it's giving Starbucks, it's giving a lot of different things. It's giving errands. I was in Walmart one time, me and Dominique doing Vlogmas I think, and this lady, she was like, I'm sorry, I have went past y'all twice and y'all smell so good. Being told that you smell nice, especially if you know that you're taking pride in your shower routine and actually getting dressed before you leave the house, to have that acknowledged, that means a lot. So I definitely recommend this one. Burberry does like really good with their packaging to me as well. I hope that I have covered everything that the girlies wanted to know about perfumes based on all of Destiny's opinions and what I think. All of these are stamped and approved by me. I love these. Some of these I didn't purchase myself, but I would definitely get a lot of these again. I have been challenging myself though when I do run out to go ahead and explore something different. Whenever we go perfume shopping in another video, my challenge is going to be to purchase something that's not floral because I did not know that I was a floral girl. So I'm gonna like branch out a little bit. But I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Everything will be linked down below um, to the best of what I can find. Floral apparently is what's gonna make you smell oh so luscious and oh so good. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So the takeaway that I wanna know from y'all Comment down below, let me know what fragrance you may currently be wearing. If you're not currently wearing perfume, let me know what perfume you wore last and what your current favorite perfume is. That way I can compare and see. Let me know if you're a floral girl like me and what your signature scent is. Just let me know something about yourself when it comes to perfume down below. Put me on, okay? Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. We smell oh so luscious. And oh so good. All this money like a fan. Show me your hand stand. Pop it like a rubber band. And we just having fun, girl. I can't be your man. And that's the time you Money and